It all started with a small family in a cave, which eventually turned into a multi-million dollar theme park, which what we know as Silverdar City, right here in the Ozarks. How it originally came to be it all started with Marble Cave, once called Marble Cave, by the Osage Indians who first discovered it. It was used for mining back guano out of until most of it was gone, and then Hugo Hirschen and his family bought the cave and added the train, which takes the cave's visitors 218 feet up to the surface from deep in the cave. Five years after Hugo bought the cave, he passed away, leaving it to his wife Mary and their two sons, Jack and Peter. The family soon started looking for ways to expand their attraction, and also to find something the visitors could do while they waited on their cave tour. This then led to the town square in the front of the park. The first year, in 1960, Sodar City was open. More than 125,000 people visited the cave. Once the Hershens got more and more people and money, they started expanding the park, putting more shops, restaurants, and rides in. The Hershens also put in a steam train, and if you've ever ridden on it, there's a part halfway through where you stop and pretend to be in the middle of a train robbery. That first started because the train had to stop in the middle and build up enough steam to get back up the hill to the train station. Also, in 1969, the park drew in lots more tourists by having the cast of the TV show Beverly Hillbillies film five episodes in the park. I interviewed someone who has been going there every year since 1969, and he said, My favorite thing about Savadar City is walking around because of the atmosphere, and my least favorite thing is sometimes a busy crowd. The thing I've noticed that's changed the most would be a lot more rides and shops and more visitors. I really like the riding the flooded mine and watching the Christmas Carol show because my favorite time to come is Christmas so I can see all the lights. From there on, Silverdar City just kept growing and growing and it still is. Over two million people visit the park every year because of its Ozark charm, activities, shows, and festivals. So now you see that Silverdar City has gone from a small cave tour service to a huge multi-million dollar theme park and I think everyone in the Ozarks will always remember this great attraction that helps to describe how the Ozarks came to be.